Hello again. This is a video to show the individuals who have a DX8 um, a possible solution to using the Cortex and being able to have Expo with the Cortex being off. Unfortunately, since the DX8 only allows three flight modes, it's not entirely possible to do it like I did on the DX9 and DX18 where you have the Cortex off with two dual rates with the normal amount of expo you run and the cortex on with two dual rates with little to no expo like the cortex manual calls for but what i have uh, what i'll show in this video is probably a pretty good halfway meeting point fix for those who have a dx8 but want to be able to fly with the cortex off and still have expo or uh, little to no expo when they're flying with the Cortex on. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go into our model. So we have to get into the setup menu. We're going to come down here. Um, this is a brand new model. I just reset it so I'm going to have to go in here and specify a couple things like wings for dual aileron. We're going to come into this menu here that says switch select. We're going to go over here. Um, for a six channel receiver, you would have to plug the gray wire that controls the Cortex mode into the gear channel. If you're using like an AR7000, you can plug the gear channel into, or the gray wire into the AUX2. Whatever, basically whatever you, whatever port you're plugging the gray wire into for the Cortex controls the Cortex flight mode, this is what we're going to change to be controlled by the flight mode switch. So we're going to come in here and you see that since I'm using a six channel receiver I'm going to have to specify that the gear output be ch controlled by a different switch. So I'm going to come in here to the gear I'm going to push inhibit on the gear and come up to the flight mode and roll it over to gear. Um, this is important that you do it in this order because if you come down here and this is still selected to gear you, and you push flight mode um, you'll notice it doesn't do anything because the DX8 doesn't allow you to assign a switch to control more than one function so first you have to come down to the gear you have to say the gear switch is now inhibited it doesn't do anything come out to the flight mode and the flight mode switch now will control the gear output so now we go back to our main screen and I power up the Cortex, the Cortex boot up. You can see that now when I flip the flight mode switch, it's changing the Cortex mode. Here we have hold mode, Cortex is off, rate mode. So then we would come into our back to our menus where we just do our dual rates and we would program our dual rates like uh, we would normally program with the one exception. Now, with the Cortex being in the middle and off, this is where you only have one set of rates. You can either have low rates with the normal amount of expo you normally run or high rates with the normal amount of expo you normally run with the Cortex off. Then for the other position with the flight mode in zero, you can continue uh, to have hold and then with the flight mode switch closest to you, you can continue to have um, rate mode. Uh, the important thing to do, remember, is to come down, whoops, sensitive roller come down here to the switch and change it to flight mode for all three control surfaces. So then this way your dual race and everything is all tied together. So since the DX is limit, DXA is limited this way, I would suggest that you go in, you hook the Cortex up to the software, you copy your rate mode 
over your hold mode, you have to give up the hold mode. Basically, you would have bank one copied over bank two, have two rate modes. And then now, with the switch furthest away from you, for me, since I push all my switches away for everything to be normal, in this instance, for me, I would, when the switch is furthest away from me, I would have the Cortex in rate mode with low rates and little to no expo. When I flip it to the middle and the Cortex is off, that would be high rates with the normal amount of expo that I normally would fly without a Cortex and you just fly it around and then when you flip it up and you enter rate mode again it would still be the same high rates but little to no expo so you can have the Cortex on without it being overly mushy in the center so for me this is how it would look like right here I would just program the ailerons, but say my ailerons, I run 70%, and normally I would run 30% expo, I would only run half the amount of expo. Then for the middle position with the cortex off, it would be full throws. And on my high rates, I normally run 75% expo on my 3D planes. So we'll just go, say, 35% expo for starters. Or, sorry, this is with the Cortex off. So I would have to go run the normal amount of expo would normally run 35% or 75% for high rates. Position 2, Cortex is still back on in rate mode. And I would run half, I would start with half the amount of expo. I normally run in high rates. So this is how it would look. Position one, low rates, little to no expo, cortex rate mode. Position one or two, it calls it position zero when it's furthest away. Position one, your full rates, normal amount of expo because the cortex is off. And then position two, still your high rates, but half the expo because the Cortex is being back on again in rate mode. Now when you go into the software and you copy bank one over bank two and get rid of the hold mode, the, the LED doesn't change from amber, red, amber. It still is green, red, and amber. So make sure you keep that in mind. And then again, when you set up the Cortex and you're teaching the Cortex your control throws, make sure you're in one of these two positions where you're using your full throws when you're teaching it. Um, the other option you can do with the DX8, um, if you want, you can have you can have your low rates Cortex on, little to no expo, and then when the Cortex is off, you can still fly low rates with the amount of expo you normally would have. So in this case it would be 30. And then Cortex full rates, little to no expo again, starting with half of what you normally would run. So this is the other scenario you can have. You can have it, Cortex is on, low rates. Cortex is off, low rates with expo. Cortex is back on, full rates with little to no expo and then you can fly it that way. These are the ways that make the most sense to me logically because again, like I said, when I fly, I fly with all my switches away. That's how I start. And then in this instance, I would be low rates. Here, I know I'm still low rates, but the Cortex is off. Here, I'm high rates with the Cortex on. Low rates with the Cortex off, or on, sorry. Um, but for me, I would, if there was gonna be one flight mode that I would fly around with the Cortex off, it most likely would be the high rates. Because landing, if you land on, when you land on low rates, it's fine to have the Cortex on. Uh, it, it helps smooth out your landings. It definitely helps with crosswind landings. So for me, I would prefer to set it up the first way, where I have low rates, little to no expo, the Cortex is on. And 
again, high rates with the normal amount of expo you need, and then high rates with little to no expo, starting with expo at half, and you can take it down until you feel comfortable with the way the Cortex feels. Um, so the only thing that I covered or talked about in this video that I didn't show you is how to go into the software and copy bank one over bank two and get rid of the hold mode and have two rate modes. Um, the import oh sorry another important thing to remember is that when you set it up this way in the DX8 you need to remember that with whatever gain you find works best for you in the Cortex in the Cortex flight mode, whatever gain it is you find. So say when you first set this up in rate mode, you found that you could have a gain of, for example, 60 before you started the oscillation. You need to remember to come back into this menu and copy 60, that value of 60 for the servo travel to both sides. So then this way the cortex will have the correct gain regardless of the position your switch is in. Hopefully this video helps those out who have a DX8 and are trying to figure out a way to have Expo with the cortex off. Unfortunately, like I said, because the DX8 is limited to three flight modes, you really can't have two sets of rates with uh, little to no expo for the cortex being on and another two sets of rates with their normal amount of expo for when the cortex is off. If you need that, please see my DX9 video showing how to do that. Thank you very much.